Hi, and welcome back to day 21 of the 21 day mind, body, and soul reset. Today, for the mind, we're going to discuss interview your fears. Uh, for the body, we're going to talk about stop overeating. And for the soul, we're going to talk about mind your own business. Okay? So we're going to dive right on in. Interview your fear. What is that about? Interviewing your fears. You ever heard that statement, false evidence appearing real? That's the definition of fear. False evidence appearing real. Have you ever heard of this one? When fear comes to the door knocking, send faith to answer it. Okay? Those are some statements that I heard that really motivate me. But I want to talk about interviewing your fears. How do you interview your fear? Okay, let's say that a thought come to your mind that is that creates a feeling of mm, nervousness or anxiety or uncertainty in your belly. Instead of running from it, run up to it, face off with it, just like a bully, because that's how fear is in our life. Fear stands as a bully. Face off with the big bully and, and ask, you know, ask you some questions, interview your fears. Because sometimes when you interview it long enough, you might find out that it might not be fear after all. It might actually be wisdom and God leading you to make a wise choice. And sometimes since fear from a psychological standpoint is our, our life way of protecting, our mind's way of protecting us from danger, you know, that fight or flight scenario that, that goes on, we need to interview our fears. Okay, let's say that a thought comes to your mind saying, I don't need to, to take that class. That might be fear saying, stay where you are, stay stuck. That might be that mindset, that old mindset that's trying to keep you stuck in your, your place of lack. So interview it and ask, ask questions because, and when you interview, you don't interview just with your physical mind you you go to god in prayer and you ask god god why is this a fear why is this an issue what's at the root of this how can i get past this and what you will find is that is that the holy spirit will begin to empower you with solutions and 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 ideas to to help you to face off of whatever that that fear is of, of not taking that class um, or it might be something that somebody spoke over you. Okay. So it's a, it's a self-limiting belief that came from somewhere. So when you interview it and face off with it, you, you empower yourself above it. Okay. It, you, when you face off with it, it it's like walking up to that, that invisible, uh, walking up to that, 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 that that mindset of uh let's say you have a theoretical bear in a cage when you walk up to that so-called bear in a cage it disappears it's like turning the light on you find out like if you turn the light on let's say you in your room and it look like something is you see a shadow but when you turn the light on you expose it so when you interview your fear you expose the the root of what's really going on and then and then the the then you can begin to walk in freedom from that that thing, okay, okay. Because like I said, sometimes the number one says, is it fear or is it wisdom? Because maybe the wisdom it says, okay, it's not that you shouldn't take the class, but wisdom says don't take that class right now or before you take that class, make sure that you have saved enough money to 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 buy gas to get back and forth or to pay for child care, you know, wisdom, wisdom, ask God. So, so instead of focusing on the fear itself, begin to ask God, God, give me wisdom in this situation, how I need to maneuver. 
so we can stay out of our mind and stay in a productive state, okay? And the other thing is, if you have a fear of something, don't feed your fear. If you are afraid to take that class, don't go around these negative so-called people, so-called friends, to ask them for advice because they're not going to empower you. They're going to empower your fear. But what I'm encouraging us to do is walk in faith over fear. Us. Notice I said us. Because there are some, some self-limiting beliefs that, that we can have. Okay. So I'm going to move on from fear and faith. I'm going to talk about foolishness. Because some stuff is foolishness. Should you ride on the wrong side of the road in oncoming traffic? That's just foolishness. So I'm not so that's what I mean by why we need to walk in wisdom. Okay? So if you want a healthy mind, have a mind that chooses wisdom and truth over fear and doubt. Okay? So that's us. I'm talking to us now. And remember, when we're doing this reset, I'm not setting myself up as this great expert that know it all. I'm just an everyday woman who has everyday struggles. And I'm hoping that we're going to encourage each other and empower each other. Okay? So share. Share your ideas. What do you do in the face of fear? Do you, do you run from it? Do you face off with it? Okay? I want to encourage us to begin to walk up to it and face off with it. Okay? So that's for the mind. To have a healthy mind, face off with it. Stop letting it spiral you out of control. Okay? Because it's, it's like it's, it's nothing but just like a big bully. Now on to don't overeat. I'm not going to go all into the psychology of why we overeat and the addiction behind it. I'm just going to suggest a few things Nine things to do instead of overeating. Exercise. Drink water. Chew gum. Uh-oh. I'm going to change it to eight things. <laughs> uh, brush your teeth. Call your accountability partner. Remember how you are going to look after you achieve your long-term goal. Remember how you felt the last time you went on a food binge and you just overate and clean up. So those are just some, some suggestions as to what we can do instead of overeating. Another thing we can do, we can have a goal outfit and we can try it on and see how we look in our goal outfit. My cousin, um, he told me, grab your belly. And if you still feel some too much cushion there, you hadn't met your goal, you're not where you want to be, just walk away. Okay? So for the body, we need to stop overeating because it is not healthy. We. Okay? Yes. Okay? So for the so, for the soul, I want to talk about mind your own business. Mind your own business. Instead of wasting our energy in a judgmental state against other people, we need to mind, take care of our own business. So, the word that I chose was the word waste, and, I, and I'm turning it into an acronym. The W... Um, in waste stands for work on you. If you need to hire some backup, hire you a coach, uh, find you a mentor, somebody who's speaking on it, preaching on it, talking about it, just work on you. But don't don't judge other people. You do not know why a person is in the state that they are in. So instead of judging them, if you can help them, help them. But work on you. Okay. A. Action mode. What action do you need to take so that you will not waste your time? If you find that you're wasting your time on something, uh, worrying about it, scared of it. If you want to get out of fear, 
take an action. Make an action. Movement, 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 action, action, action. You cannot be, you cannot abide in a place of fear and action at the same time. Because action is the same thing as faith. Because faith without works is dead. So action is works. So get the work. Get the work. Get the move. Get the cleaning. Get the organizing. Get the goal setting. Get the get to get to studying. Whatever that next level is. Because it's time to level up. Listen to some podcasts. Listen to, like I said, some sermons. You know, take an action. Specifically in the direction of the thing that's trying to keep you from that, that fear. But but that's why we need prayer because sometimes we can be on these silly waste of time too. Okay, but we don't want to stay in those places. So that's why we need to prayerfully take action. Hey, okay. Yes, stop self-sabotaging. Have you ever lost one pound and thought that you had arrived? Raise your hand. Yes, that's, that's my hand. <laughs> and you went and ate you a bowl of ice cream. Stay with the plan. Stay with the plan. That's why I said all those other things instead of overeating. And it might not be weight loss that's your goal that you sabotage yourself. It might be a goal that you may say, I'm not going to talk too much. I'm not going to talk on that subject anymore. Um, I'm going to I'm going to drink my water. You know, like like one of the things about, about our, our nutrition goals is if you're trying to cut back on sweets and you go grocery shopping and you bring the sweets in the house, somebody going to eat them. So if we put more nutritious, if we, if we find nutritious replacements, that'll be a different story. Okay? So that we can beat self-sabotage. And like I said, it, those are, that's just in that particular area, but the area might be in relationships. I want to stop fussing at my children. Mm, the area might be in, in, in saving money. I want to stop overspending. You know, whatever the, whatever the goal is, we need to make sure that we're operating in actions that will not cause us to self-sabotage. So, like I said, we got a lot that we can be working on, on ourselves instead of worrying about other people, minding other people's business, Wondering how they doing, what they doing. We need to focus on deal with the gal in the glass, as one of my friends wrote a poem. Okay. The T. Target and track your success. Like I said, get a clear idea of what your goal is and track your success. If you're doing a little better this week than you was doing last week, give yourself a little, not necessarily a whole pat on the back, but just a, keep going, girl. You're doing good. Give yourself a high five. You know, keep yourself encouraged, but track it. Put it down on paper. If you lost one pound and you journal what you ate that week, keep up with it. Like I said, if that's your goal. If your goal is tracking your spending, write it down. How much money did you spend today? Um, did you stay within your budget or did you bust your budget? What are you gonna, where are you going to borrow that from? You know, know, know your numbers. Know how much money you have. If it's to get your your blood pressure regulated, if you know that your number is your 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 top number is here and your bottom number is here, and you're trying to get yourself balanced, know your numbers, track it. If you if you um take your blood pressure and it's and it's 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 doing that thing that it shouldn't be doing, then hey, what change do you need to make? Whether it's your blood sugar, what whatever it is. It might be your sleep habits. You might want to improve your sleep. No matter what you're working on. We talking about the reset, y'all. In order for us to hit that reset button in our lives, we got to track our progress. Okay? Because sometimes we don't give ourselves credit. Just like that lady um in that movie War Room, she had a wall of remembrance so that she can remind herself that God did that thing before and that he'll do it again. And that's what, that's what tracking ourselves our success does it, it creates a wall of remembrance so that we can know okay it ain't that bad we're doing pretty good we're doing good and then another thing about weight loss sometimes success is not measured in the scale sometimes you need to measure yourself sometimes you your form has improved 
Okay. Sometimes you de you just develop that little muscle action right there that you wanted to develop. So track your track your success, tra track your progress. Give yourself some credit. Stop being so hard on yourself. That's where the sabotage come in. We we expect ourselves to be superhuman. Okay, and we're not. We're just we're just human. Okay, and the E expect opposition, but choose to be bigger. Take the high road, baby. Once again, I'm gonna go to that weight loss thing. If you mess around and tell somebody, oh, I'm gonna go on a diet or I'm gonna lose some, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose some weight. If that person starts trying to feed you something or you got to decide, okay, what am I going to do ahead of time when somebody starts trying to offer me stuff that I shouldn't be eating? So that's what I mean by expect opposition, but choose to be bigger. So you need to practice saying, no, thank you. No, thank you. Mm, no, thank you. And then sometimes you need to set boundaries and just stop going around that person because they may mean well and they may mean to sabotage you. And that's not self-sabotage. That's, that's them so-called friends sabotaging you. So then, you know, you have to make some decisions. And that's if it's weight loss you want. Uh, if, it's, if it's improving the relationships, like I said, you don't want to nag your children. You don't want to fuss at your children. Then set your boundaries. Pick your battles, but but expect opposition because something gonna come up, and it's going to you're gonna be tempted to go in go off course. But but we got to hit that reset button, and remember the way we do that is by seeking the one who made us. Okay, y'all, I am super duper excited that we have come this far and that we have completed completed the twenty one day mind body soul reset. If you have further questions. Please feel free to reach out to me on social media. If you know me personally, call me. I'm just like I said, I'm just saying every day. I'm I'm your friend. I'm your friend. I'm your coach. I'm your hairdresser. I'm just every day. Okay. So we're gonna do as always, we're gonna end with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father. Thank you so much for blessing us to make it to day 21 of the 21 day my body so reset. God, I ask you to reset your people. Reset us and cause us to set our affections on things above and not on the things that are on this earth, which are temporary. I ask you to set us in the place that we're supposed to be. I ask you to establish us. And bring us all out, all right. Bring us in that wealthy place that you call for for us to be in. I ask you to improve our health, improve our, our mindsets, improve the conditions of our soul, and make us whole. God, we just want to be made whole and be fit for the master's use. So I thank you for resetting us. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray and I thank you. So if you would go ahead and share this video, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you later.